kick off with Nick Callow from Haters. Hi. Hi. How are your nerves at the end there? Uh, I was praying uh, so many space bodies in our box. Um, it was a really emotional game. Um, very tough place to come, obviously. Incredible atmosphere, stadium, and a great team to play against. 3 0 up, you are in control of the game. You come in the second half, um, and we're dominating the game and creating chances. And then, yeah, an individual error happens that clicks something. It puts a wrong message in your brain, but I think we started to deal with the situation better. Another one, and then it's game on. And they have the players, and, and they have the courage as well to to put a lot of, and commit to a lot of players forward. And uh, now we have to dig in, suffer, and react. And I'm very pleased the way the team is on it. What were your thoughts on, on the error, as you called it? It's part of football. Um, it's the sequence of play. I don't like it. I don't like the principles that we apply. And in in that moment and the orientation of the ball, and after that, it can happen. You you misjudge the, the, the situation. You try to make uh, the pass, then you don't, and, and you are in doubt zone. And, um, and they score, they take advantage of that. And the penalties is another principle inside the box that you cannot do. It's part of football. What I love is David does that. He picks guy my hands up, that is quite heavy. And then he was sensational for the last 20, 25 uh, minutes of the game. And this is what I love about uh, our place. You spoke before the game about Arsenal and giving you advice saying that you need to find a way to win matches at the end of the season. Is that what we saw right at the end? Yeah, maybe you could have given me the advice as well of uh, try not to make it hard for yourself. Uh, but um, at the end, you can just uh, pretend to come here and, and don't suffer and have a comfortable afternoon and, and play a space of the park because it doesn't happen and you just have to see the games that I have played against the top teams because they are a, a really good side. Just on that note, was it the plan in the first half to hit the keeper we did or did Spurs sort of force you back? Into the no, they forced you. And we had an issue... With the, um, with the high press, we give so many balls away, simple balls, our ball circulation wasn't good enough. The result has an impact, you are tuning up, and the result is having an impact as well. To feel com more comfortable doing that, we looked a real threat as well. On on the counters, they commit so many players, so they force you as well with their structure as well um, to have one or two more players in certain areas that provoke you to be a little bit deeper. But um, we're okay that we didn't really concede. Uh, much there, but um, I think the second half in certain moments, especially with the ball, was better. What's better for the psychology of the way? Winning 3 0 comfortably or coming through that? I don't know. We're going to make that the second option is a great one, and, uh, and the players can be more convinced. We've done it two years in a row here, which is extremely difficult. The manner was different last year as well. We had to suffer in the second half to, to win the game. So, um, great. The team has another tool. Um, something else to to grab that is the confidence that uh, bigger stage when you have to come to a bigger stadium you can go and win it so good learning Nick, hey, Nick. Hi. And we've talked a lot about Kai Havertz recently but today we saw a 40 yard pass for an assist we saw a couple of strikers headed for a goal are we, are we seeing him unlock more and more parts of his game it was quite a complete centre forward performance yeah, he was sensational in every department today he was and he wasn't as his 100% he was ill before the match he was a bit of struggling, and still he put the performance that he's put in. I thought he was uh, unbelievable today. Amy, I think. Miguel, after the relentlessness of April and games every three days, what is it about your team that enabled them to come back from that difficult period where it looked like maybe everything's going wrong? Win, win, win. What, what, what can you tell us about them and their approach and how they behave with each other and what they want to do? First of all, how much you want it, how much they want it. Uh, don't feel sorry for yourself. It's part of the journey. It's part of when you are at the at the highest competitive level, you can have disappointment. The margin is so small. They're not gonna go always for you. And then how you react to that and and face face the challenge, face the opportunity, and uh, and be brave. And I think this team has a lot of courage and and determination to to make it happen. You have so much faith in the guys on the pitch, it seems. I do have, yeah. The last few minutes, uh, I was doubting a little bit, to be fair. Uh, but <laughs> I think we were all there. But, uh, yeah, they gave me no reason. I said to you before, uh, they're going to be ready for Sunday. They played, as you said, a lot of minutes, a lot of games, emotionally very demanding month. But uh, yesterday, I had to stop it in training because they wanted more. You know? So that's a good sign. OK, last couple now. And James. You said earlier that the place found another tool Game. Do, do you sort of think that you know whatever happens now, that this team show that they can handle this stage of the season better than last year? I think so. When you win, it's always the case. 
you know. <laughs> Last year we didn't because we went to West Ham and with that result we missed a penalty. And against Liverpool you concede in the 91st and then you are not capable. So at the end, that judgment is going to be based on the result, not like the outcome. If you if you concede a goal in the last minute and it's 3-3, three, three, then we're not ready. So the margins are so small. So don't get carried about with yourself. Just understand that we have to be better. We want to be better. There are margins for improvement. And go again against Bournemouth. That is going to be really tough. Finally, Sam, Telegraph. Because you, you see it in the player's eyes that they're going to fight until the very last second, no matter what. Yeah, hundred percent. But I've seen that the whole season, and uh, and they give me the the reason to believe that every single day. And obviously, we are right on it. And motivation and and what is ahead is is beautiful. So obviously, we are expecting that they're gonna have a real goal. Thank you, Rob. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.